Hello and welcome back to Big Discussions. My name is Dr. Anwar Youssef Dunbar. I am the owner and creator of this channel and I am the founder of the Big Words blog site. Uh, the, the website, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the URL for my blog is on the wallpaper, I'm sorry, the banner for this channel as is my social media. Um, please uh, Go there, like, share, and subscribe. Add my RSS feed to your feed reader, um, and you know, follow me on social media. Please like, share, and subscribe uh, to this channel as I'm trying to grow it, and uh, more subscribers are always uh, very helpful to growing this channel. Um, today is February seventeenth. 2019 um, and welcome so this one uh, I'm hoping to get in and out of this one uh, pretty quickly this one um, I'm gonna break from Black History Month momentarily we have about 15 more days left of the month I'm gonna break from Black History Month and do something um, somewhat financial um, if you go on my blog one of my main topic areas is uh, financial literacy. Financial literacy is something that's always uh, that's always amazed me and fascinated me. Once I started learning about it, I think the first financial literacy book I read was Rich Dad Poor Dad by uh, Robert Kiyosaki. And so, um, after this month, after Black History Month is over, I will probably uh, start doing some more um, financial topics. I've written numerous blog posts on money, including, you know, what a net worth is, what the law of compounding interest is, um, uh, the importance of saving, uh, the difference between cheap and frugal, and maybe I'll leave one or two of those in the comment box uh, below. But um, I've been wanting to do something on retirement for a while now, and. Uh, uh, the creator put it on my heart to do it tonight so I'm going to do something on retirement uh, tonight um, so as you can see I'm in a different location uh, I'll say that I'm in a undisclosed bunker slash installation somewhere in uh, New York State you don't see my Michigan flag or my JCSU or any of my degrees on the wall and also I'm using a more traditional tight shot you know so you could so I'm really up close much closer now on the camera I actually got that comment quite a bit from eh, numerous people um, from my first couple of vlog casts some folks wanted a more traditional tighter shot so you know here you go so I'll probably change it up um, as I as I go on but those people are gonna get what they want here so retirement um, retirement in terms of financial literacy and money it's a pretty vast topic um, there's a financial side and there's a non-financial side um, and I'm not gonna so much get into the financial side in this vlog cast I'm gonna leave my compounding interest piece in the description box as that's an important part of thinking about uh, retirement you have to figure out um, when you're gonna do it and then if you're gonna have enough money to cover your expenses um, and hopefully you've done it to the point where you save to the point where your money is gonna outlive you but I want to talk about something else which is lifestyle and quality of life and I want to say that um, I'm not retired yet I'm an employee um, in the public sector and on my current trajectory um, it'll still be a little while before I retire but I want to say that it's important to have a plan for it um, aside from your money so it's important to have something to do when you retire um, besides sitting around the house and not doing anything um, since I've been working myself, uh, I've had numerous senior, 
co-workers retire from my office. Uh, some of them flourished. Some of them flourished. Some of them had plans and, you know, wanted to sail and golf and uh, start businesses or whatever. Um, you know, others continued working in other capacities. Um, others stayed home and others uh, died. Um, so they died shortly after they stopped working. And I think the reason that happened is because working is a lifestyle. Um, you know, you have some place to go every day, you have coworkers, you have a bit of a, a purpose. So for a lot of people, once that purpose is gone, they kind of have nothing to live for and they have nothing to do. They have no one to interact with. They're not getting the same amount of um, movement and exercise. And in some instances, in some instances just not the same fulfillment in life. So when you retire, assuming you've saved well and you've planned well, it's important to have something to do, something to keep yourself moving, something to keep yourself stimulated. We just recently finished the uh, Trump border wall government shutdown and we were out for about 35 days and I had a lot of things to do to keep me busy such as blogging, writing, and even setting up this YouTube channel but I did find after a while that getting up and not having some place to go every day was becoming a little bit unusual and so I had to go to the gym and I had to um, get up and go somewhere, get up and, and do something. Um, I wasn't seeing my coworkers. Um, you know, again, there's value to seeing people. There's value to going away to that ecosystem every day. There's value to people being happy to see you when you telling jokes and um, socializing and being a part of something. So there's value there. So, you know, I had things to do during the shutdown, but it was definitely an adjustment not having to go off to work every day and go and not going to a place of work and actually something was actually missing uh, because that had been part of my lifestyle um that's been part of my lifestyle so you can imagine someone who uh, you know there are people who who for which life is for which work is their entire life i imagine those people were struggling uh quite a bit um, and that's why people die immediately after they retire or sometime afterwards when they don't have anything to do. In any case, that's what I want to say. So I wanted to get in and get out. And um, I, I'm going to put one or two of my writings in the comment box below. Um, I'm going to revisit retirement probably from the more um, mathematical financial standpoint later on. But I want to get this first one out in terms of lifestyle and quality of life um so i'm going to conclude here um this in terms of who this was for this was for everybody in terms of my audience who you know so if you're an employee employee which most of us which a good number of us were trained to be this was for you regardless of uh, race creed color religion gender whichever so um thank you for watching Please like, share, and subscribe, and look out for the next ones. Um, the next couple will probably be about Black History Month, again, as we have a little ways to go in the month. Uh, but after that, I'll, I'll definitely be hitting more money topics. Uh, please have a good night. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.